culture at the prep is amazing. It's extremely collaborative. Um, I don't think I've ever been in a class where I felt like all of my friends weren't there with me because you do become friends with every single person you're in school with. Um, I think that everyone gets along really well. It's very, it fosters a very good learning environment, but also a great social life. Um, I think that we have a very good sports culture. So people go to the games and we cheer on each other. And so regardless of what kind of person you are walking into the prep, you definitely will be able to get along with everyone and develop yourself as a person. So to add a little bit to that, I think that we have a very unified school culture. I think we work well, very we work well together and we're very good at, you know, working with other students as well as faculty. I think that the connection between the faculty and students is something that makes the prep really special. And I think that it's why um, we have such a good learning environment as well as just a social life, like Harishri said. I would say that I think being a part of so many programs at the prep has really allowed us to like broaden our experiences uh, holistically have a very comprehensive time here in terms of just different experiences we were able to be part of different clubs learn about like the healthcare system we were part of, able to be a part of debate where we learned about like communication skills so I think it's really just shaped us as people in terms of like what we've learned and what we've been able to expose ourselves to. And to build on that, I think that it's definitely helped shape our academic personalities, but also our social personalities. Because um, like she said, we've been exposed to a lot of different cultures. But we've also had a lot of different experiences by going through um, so many different programs. And I think it's made us very multifaceted learners, uh, where we look at things from different perspectives instead of being more linear when you're confined to one way of thinking. At Fairmont, generally, our biggest accomplishment is probably we won middle school TOC um, in eighth grade. That was a national tournament, so that meant we were ranked the number one middle school public forum team in the entire country. Um, so I think that's our biggest achievement in terms of competitive success. Um, but I'd say my biggest achievement um, for Fairmont would be uh, starting BOFD or the Board of Female Directors for the debate team because that helped both of us get more involved with girls in an activity where uh, it's usually male dominant and a lot of girls don't, even if they do start the activity, they don't stay in it. So the fact that we were able to mentor and uh, make sure that our peers and girls that are going to join debate in the future had an opportunity and a pathway to follow to success. I think that was definitely one of my biggest achievements. So yeah, I would say debate is probably one of like the things most associated with the two of us on campus. And so competitively, we had, we've had we had very good years over the last four years. Um, our sophomore year, we quarterfinaled at Berkeley, which is almost unheard of for sophomores. We qualified to the TOC both our sophomore and junior year. Um, and I think that the Board of Female Directors, like Harisha was saying, is one of our biggest achievements. Us and a bunch of girls on the team worked together to make it. And I think that we really did want to have more girls as a part of a sport that's like, you know, something that encourages women to speak out, which is very important. And uh, Harisha and I are both going to be attending USC in the fall on biochemistry majors and hopefully eventually political science, science minors. Um, I would say that part of getting into USC was having a very strong uh, department here in terms of counseling. Uh, Mr. Prado was on top of it when we asked him to send letters of rec or just be like, hey, can you look at an essay for me? Or just like being there to talk about our options as well as, you know, when we got all of our packages, because the two of us were between UCLA and USC for a good amount of time. Um, Mr. Prado really helped give us guidance about like, okay, here's the pros of this school, here are the cons of this school. Um, on top of that, we actually had the ability to intern at USC, which allowed us to get a letter of rec from the head of the chemistry department there, which I think obviously helped with the admission. And the way we actually got that internship is we talked to Miss Miller, who's the bio teacher here, and she introduced us to someone who then we like talked to another person the way, you know, internships go. And we eventually did end up getting that internship because of Miss Miller. So I think that like one thing about Fairmont that's super cool is you get so access to so many people and resources that if you want to do something, if you go out and find the resource, you will be able to do it.